Confused by the pronunciation of the letter T? It's no wonder. There are six ways to pronounce T in American English. Find out when to use each one in this video. I get more questions on how to pronounce T than any other sound in American English. This is because the pronunciation varies quite a bit depending upon its location in the word and other sounds around it. Each of the sounds I mention in this video has its own video also. If you want a more detailed lesson on any T variation, take a look at the corresponding video. You can find a link to each one below in the description. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more. And please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. I really appreciate it. So the first pronunciation of T is what most people think of when I say T. It's the T sound we use at the beginning of words like two and table. Or when T begins a stress syllable like attend or continue. What stands out about this sound is the aspiration or puff of air heard with this hard T. You can easily feel it if you put your hand in front of your mouth. Two, table, attend, continue. Second, we have the held T at the end of words like hot or want or before a consonant sound like lightning, or in the phrase, wait for me. It has the same mouth position as the standard hard T, but it does not have that puff of air. Notice, hot, want, lightning, wait for me. The third variation is the flap T sometimes spelled TT. This is the T that sounds like an English D. You will generally find it in the middle of words since it occurs before vowel sounds in words like city or community. Do you hear that D sound? It's not city, it's city. Sounds like a softer D sound. A vowel followed by a letter R is also considered a vowel sound, like er, or, or are. So you'll find the flap T there also in words like party, water, and 30. The flap T also occurs before LE endings because of the syllabic L. Listen for it in words like little or Seattle. The fourth T variation is an uncommon sound in American English, but it occurs in a few common words. It's the glottal stop, and it occurs before a vowel plus an N sound. Examples include mountain, eaten, and the first T in important. It's similar to the held T, but the sound is stopped here in your throat. Mountain. Mountain. If this sound is difficult for you to produce, think of it as a held T. And then move straight to the N sound. Do not pronounce the vowel sound between the T and the N. Let's try it together. Mountain. Eaten. Important. And now here's the fifth way to pronounce the T. T's can be silent after an N, like in words internet or center. Repeat them with me. Internet, center. Pretend the T is not there. And finally, a TU in the middle of words becomes a CH sound, as if it were spelled with a CH. CH. Like in culture, natural, and situation. 
Let's try those again. Culture, natural, and situation. Want more detailed information and practice on these sounds? Then please take a look at the individual videos for each sound. You can find a link to each in the description of this video. Did you like this video? Have suggestions for more videos? Let me know. I love hearing from my followers. Thanks for watching.